Bonds, bonds, bonds. That's what everyone is talking about at the moment. Welcome to Talking Sense. My name is Waidaka Gatumi and hopefully in the next couple of minutes we'll try and understand, unpack this issue of government bonds and whether you should be the one investing in it or not. Welcome to Talking Sense. At Syntonomy, we offer classes designed to help you build wealth and live abundantly. Check them out at syntonomy.com. All right, all right. So everyone's talking bonds. There's a huge infrastructure bond that has been released. Why are we interested in this? Well, the government is trying to raise money, about 75 billion shillings, to build infrastructure that's out there in the world, and they're going to borrow from its citizens and other people in order to be able to achieve that goal. So why are people so interested in this? Because one of the benefits of an infrastructure bond is that it is tax-free. But I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's talk about what a bond actually is. When a government wants to accomplish its budgetary uh, plans and ambitions, it doesn't always have enough money from tax and from the reserves it has. So it goes into the market and borrows from citizens, individuals like you and I, from organizations like banks and other lending institutions, and even from foreign countries. So you've heard, remember we had Eurobond here in Kenya. So here's what it is. The government borrows money and promises to pay that money back with interest or a return. And what they're saying is this time it is going to be for 19 years. And the likelihood, if you listen to analysts, is that the return will be around 12%, just a little bit more than 12% or so. So that sounds great, doesn't it? But we have to understand how a bond actually works. So for you, the investor, this is what happens. You will put in, let's put a round figure, 100,000 shillings, and the government will promise to pay you 12%, in this case, 12,000 shillings every year. Now watch this. That means that the interest or the return that you have gotten does not remain in the investment, and so it doesn't compound over time. It simply gives you income or cash every year. That's why bonds are also called fixed income securities because it's a fixed income over a period of time. Now that's a great thing if that matches your goal. Now here at Centonomy, we always train this way. We talk about investments specifically and say, write it down. If you've never written this down, write it down so you never forget. The best investment is the one that matches your goal. So make sure, if you're thinking about investing in this bond, that it matches your goal. Let's talk about some of those goals. If you're looking at growth over 19 years, 19 years is a long period of time, right? That's almost two decades. If you're looking for growth, you want your money to be earning money and earning and money, getting that compounded return, then this might not be the investment for you. Why? Because, as I said, it's not compounding. So you get the return as cash every year. But let's say you're an investor and you're thinking, you know what, I have a lump sum amount. I'm not sure what I want to do with it right now. I've not yet decided. I want to park it away somewhere, almost like a saving, so that I can decide what I'm going to do with it and come back later. And, I, and hopefully I can get a bit of a return over that period of time. Great place, don't you think? Can I give you an even better example? Let's say you're a retiree and you've just received a lump sum uh, pay out from your provident fund or your pension and you've received this lump sum and you're thinking how can I use this money to get a cash flow because now I'm not employed then bonds are a great place to consider why because guess what unlike real estate like if you had rentals you have to go chase tenants to make pay you if they're not there you don't get a cash flow with the government it's relatively safe why because they promised to pay you over that period of time great place to think about it so do you see that the bond, just because you hear 12%, doesn't make it right for you. So when you're investing, you need to think, what is my goal? And make sure you link that goal to the investment. And that's what we do in the Centonomy 101 program. We help you clarify your life goals and give you exposure to investments, including bonds, where we have a three-hour session with investment experts to help you understand bonds and where, where it'll fall in your investment plan so that you can achieve your goals. Sign up today for the Centonomy 101 program. It changed my life, it'll change yours. 
See you in class. As always, subscribe and turn on the notifications so that you won't miss another video. Join us for one of our life-transforming classes. Register at syntonomy.com.